evolving skills. So what were we testing? I want you to concentrate. Close your eyes if you have to. And think of a melody, any melody. Do you have one in mind? Does it sound anything like this? If so, that's because it's the same tune we played while you were solving the maze. And there's a reason why it may be bouncing around your brain right now. Have you ever had a song stuck in your head all day where no matter what you do, you can't stop humming it or hearing it in your brain? These catchy little tunes are called earworms. And it's the holy grail for music labels, ad jingle writers, and pop stars who want to make sure it's their song that's stuck in your brain. And if you happen to be performing a moderately cognitive task when the earworm is playing, like solving our maze, your working memory is activated and the earworm is stealthily implanted. So what makes these musical marvels especially catchy? Take another listen to our earworm from before. You'll notice lots of repetition, upbeat synthesizers, and a back and forth beat. All of these features combine to create an irresistible earworm because your brain is attracted to the simple repetitive melody and rhythm. The easier to hum along, the more your brain likes it. Now, some of you might be thinking, despite everything we've shown you about addiction, we couldn't possibly be talking about you. You didn't care what happened to this guy. You're not tempted by junk food, and you wouldn't be caught dead singing an awful top 40 pop song. But we're willing to bet there's something you are addicted to. In fact, you might be doing it right now. To find out what it is, take a look at our next experiment. We gathered 10 volunteers to take part in a simple focus group and asked them to fill out some standard survey forms before giving us their opinions about an upcoming TV show. Because this is a confidential focus group, we explained that if they wanted to get paid for their time, cell phone use while in this room was strictly prohibited. You can bring up your cell phones. So our volunteers placed their phones in these boxes so they wouldn't even be tempted to use them during the focus group. Now it's time to begin. Basically, what we're going to do is we're going to watch this video a couple times and just talk to you guys a little bit. OK. Thank you. Wonderful. I thought we had it going earlier. Huh. Looks like they're having a problem with the video monitor. Technical mm. difficulty. We're just, we're trying to set up the video. OK, just give us one second. Please, no cell phones. Seems like things aren't going according to plan. Or are they? These people think they're here to comment on TV shows. What they don't realize is they're part of an experiment on our show. We're watching every move behind a one-way mirror and testing to see if these participants can resist the urge to use their cell phones, which are conveniently placed just out of arm's reach. I know, we're bad. <laughs> As we saw earlier, our kid volunteers had trouble resisting a small piece of cotton candy. So yummy. So how do you think these adults will handle cell phone withdrawal? Can they dial up enough willpower to hold out? Or will they call it quits? These volunteers think they're going to get paid for their opinions on some upcoming TV shows. What they didn't realize is that they'd be giving up their cell phones on our show and we'd be watching every move behind a one-way mirror. If anyone breaks down and uses their phone, they won't get paid. Think they can resist the urge and play by the rules? And what about you? If you were in this room, how long could you go without checking your phone? Just think of all the emails, texts, and social media you'd be missing. But surely with money on the line, these folks will be able to demonstrate some degree of willpower and play by the rules, right? Like, I don't get it. Wrong. After just five minutes, this guy couldn't resist taking a peek. Mm. After ten minutes, most of our volunteers followed instructions and didn't check their phones. But we're about to turn up the heat. 